Hi, my name is John. I'm going to give you a quick tour of 16 Parkview Drive. So I'm going to flip the phone around and just explain how things work here. Just bear with me a second. Okay, so here's the parking area. There's room for two vehicles. In the winter time, as you can see, there's two uh, boats that basically sit in this area. But you can you have room for two vehicles. You only have to shovel to the end of this air, common area here. That driveway is a common driveway and uh, it's plowed by the neighbors, so you only have to shovel a relatively small area. But like I said, there's room for two vehicles. This building here, that's my shed. Uh, in the winter time, I, I store all my uh, outdoor furniture in that building, so there's really not too much uh, availability for storage other than uh, other than uh, for myself and my wife. Uh, I'll so this is basically the back side of the building away from the lake. Uh, you can see the entrance way. I'm doing some renovations, so there's a bit of stuff uh, around here right now. But, but, but basically this is the yard uh, that's facing away from the lake. This is the building, 16 Parkview Drive. Um, when you come inside, there's a vestibule here uh, with some storage. You can see a closet, some shelving and some bottled water. Uh, the facility runs off of lake water. And so for potable water, we bring in bottled water. I just fill it up in the city, um, but you can get it at any grocery store for about four bucks, I think, uh, a bottle. Uh, but you will need to supply your own potable water because uh, although the sinks and toilets and shower run off uh, lake water, it's not really suitable for cooking. Um, full washer and dryer. Uh, as you can see, small little kitchen, but uh, it, the, the place does come fully furnished. Uh, about the only thing you'd probably need, want to bring is maybe a good coffee maker, or perhaps uh, you know some sharp knives and maybe some good pots and, or uh, sorry fry pans and stuff like that, because our stuff is mostly cottageware for us. But as you can see, full full fridge and stove. Uh, nothing particularly fancy about it. Um, and so this is the kitchen area. Uh, teeny tiny bathroom, nothing particularly fancy about that, but fully functional. And like I said, uh, you don't pay a water bill here. The only thing that you're responsible for is power and East Link. And obviously your East Link bill depends on what you, uh, what you uh, take up for the East Link service. Typically it's about $120 a month for basic internet. Small little master bedroom, if you want to call it that. Tiny closet, um, uh, the place is small, it's suitable for a couple or perhaps a couple with maybe one child or something like that. So there's what my COVID desk and uh, we have a set of bunk beds in the, uh, in the other bedroom. Back into the kitchen, place is really small like I said. Um, this is our common room with uh, a heat pump uh, and uh, as you can see, this is the living room and it has a, fire, a propane fireplace. I advise tenants not to use the propane fireplace. It, it basically puts more heat up the chimney than it does uh, produce heat. And so the last few years I've had the chimney taped over and uh, advised uh, tenants not to use the propane fireplace, but that is something that we could discuss. Uh, we do have baseboard heaters. I'm sorry for the storage here, but and there's a stereo as you can see. Um, so the main source of heat for the building is the heat pump, but there is a baseboard heaters as backup and uh, plus the uh, uh, the propane fireplace. Heat, re heat usually runs very little in the, f in the fall and the spring, maybe $75 a month, $100 a month. In the mid-winter, mid it can get up to about $250 a month and it's paid bi-monthly. So you might get a bill mid-winter of about $500. Um, so it's not too bad to heat. Um, obviously it depends on the severity of the, of the uh, winter. I'll go, I'll go outside in it right now. But before I go outside, I just want to tell you that it looks a lot nicer in the winter, sorry, in the, uh, in the summertime than it does in the winter. Uh, obviously when you, uh, you know, uh, when you come here on a nice summer day, it looks beautiful. In the winter time, it can be pretty uh, bleak and, and windy here uh, on the lake, but uh, you will get to enjoy that in the shoulder season. So I'll try and explain the outside to you right now. 
so you can see there's multiple decks and uh, the top two decks, uh, by the way, the railings are off right now because I'm redoing the railings. Uh, so please excuse that. But you can see uh, there's multiple decks and these top two decks would remain unencumbered during your lease period. So you would have full use of these, although we do put a fair bit of the furniture away before the lease starts. But what happens on these lower two decks is all that gear that you see out there in the lake right now has to come up and be put into storage. So the bottom deck there basically becomes unusable by the time we move all that stuff off the lake bottom and up on, onto the lake. And this year has been particularly bad. The lake's been high all summer. So I don't even have my end platform out in the lake right now. And so those pieces of a pen dock, aluminum dock, they get stored up the side of the building here. And you can kind of see the, uh, you can kind of, excuse my laundry there. You can kind of see that basically where the, those pieces of pen dock get stored up the side of the building. And so that really is this end of the tour. It's a small place, but it's pretty and uh, it's well cared for. And uh, basically the only the only utilities that you'd be responsible for are Nova Scotia Power and like I said bringing in your own potable water and also uh, um, Eastlink whatever Eastlink services you want in terms of internet and TV um, so that includes the, the tour if you have any questions you can send them to me uh, it's uh, John dot Maloney spelled M-O-L-O-N-E-Y at jasco.com and uh, I look forward to doing business with you